Live from the Cox Convention Center, as we have been all morning, I'm Dave Morris here on NewsOK.com. It's the Barton Nadia Sports and Health Festival, and I am honored to be joined by Nadia Komenich. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Well, it's great to see you. I'm doing well. Thanks so much for your time. Yeah, sure. I'm very happy to see so many people uh, having a lot of fun, uh, trying a lot of uh, sports activities, and get a lot of information about health and fitness. and free stuff we get free stuff and see that and, and who doesn't like free stuff we just saw your son Dylan walking around he had free stuff he was excited yeah he has free stuff but he wants our stuff too <laughs> <laughs> everything he can get it's like Christmas out here for him yes yes all right um, we have Bart on to begin our webcast and we have Nadia on to bookend our, our broadcast and you guys are super busy all the time you say in fact you're headed out to Romania tomorrow uh, actually, Monday I'm going. Monday. Tonight we have uh, the Cox Arena, the Nadia Comunici International Invitational. And we have seven countries compete, including Romania. And tomorrow is one more day of uh, activities and gymnastic competitions. And I'm heading to Romania on Monday because also there, uh, tomorrow night is starting the uh, Olympic Youth Festival for winter sports. So I'm going to be there to say hello to the participants and then I'm going to Slovenia to do some work there. So uh, I'm pretty much everywhere. You're a very busy lady. Uh, Nadia, I had Rebecca Clark on earlier. She's one of the gymnasts on the OU women's team. And we were talking about you. I said, you know, Nadia, she's known by one, one name. You know, if you're known by <laughs> one name, you're pretty famous. I was like, what is the impact of Nadia on women's gymnastics and, and is that still a big deal when you're competing as the OU women's team did last night and they won their 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 uh, their event and she said yes she followed you all growing up and it was very cool to see you there at the event as they competed and so you you encounter athletes worldwide what is your perception from from your side of the fence of of your impact on them well, I, you know, I'm, I'm still uh, surprised uh, to, uh, to see that people um, uh, rem remember me, uh, you know, that I, I competed many, many years ago. And, uh, uh, of course, the parents of the kids who, the parents who are my generation and got a chance to watch me, uh, they talked. Uh, they told the kids about me and of course with the YouTube and I just passed the black and white you know I was almost at that era of black and white That's when right. I was competing um, uh, I think uh, I'm really happy to to be able to uh, to promote everything about gymnastic and what gymnastic can do for kids uh, and you know it, it's it's a great base for uh, everything they choose to do in their life if, even if they stay with gymnastic or they go on and do something else. Uh, it's just a fitness activity and uh, you know, we, Bart and I, we never went away. Uh, we are around, we, we competed and we retired and now we're still promoting what we do and uh, the healthy lifestyle and uh, we're happy to see the turnout of um, the kids and the parents being so excited about everything we do. Well, and we've seen a lot of that here today. It's not just the, the corporate people who are involved in the rowing events behind us here, but it is a lot of families and a lot of kids. And I know you and Bart put a lot of work and effort into this and have over the past few years, but 10,000 people, that's pretty impressive. That's a lot and uh, we want to grow it, but we're probably going to need more space. So probably <laughs> we have to take over the entire arena <laughs> next year uh, because you just offer kids the opportunity uh, to be exposed to this uh, because they don't know what they want to do. And uh, just bringing him and having fun, uh, if it's always related to fun, uh, kids love to do it. So that's how we uh, started anyway. I mentioned that to Bart and, and, and is that the key there, providing opportunity? Yeah, it is providing opportunity because, as I said earlier, they don't, you don't know what your kid wants to do, but exposing them to a lot of different sports, uh, they're going to choose what they want to do. We have a six-and-a-half-year-old, and, a half year old and uh, he, he plays gymnastics. He doesn't want to be so organized right now uh, with the team. So sometimes he said, uh, I don't want to do gymnastics now, but I want to do karate or I want to do music or sign me up. We just sign him up for soccer. So I think kids have to, to be busy with a lot of different things and then if they want to go uh, to on and uh, you know to succeed in a one sport then they can choose from all of them. Oh, so I was gonna ask you that are you guys encouraging Dylan to stay in gymnastics or 
just to stay active and kind of find uh, his own thing. We want to expose him to gymnastics. It's normal to do that because this is what we know. Sure. Uh, but Bart is going in the gym and coach him. So uh, if he wants to do it seriously, then daddy has to go and coach you. <laughs> it's on Bart, huh? Yeah. Cool. And let's talk about uh, fitness and health real, real fast because that is important. Uh, but why is that important for the everyday person? Uh, it's important for health issues and uh, that's a lot of statistics there that say that if you take care of yourself now you don't have to deal with a lot of problems that kids have which is obesity and diabetes and heart problems later so that's what we try to tell uh, parents just have your kid involved in something because that's going to save a lot of the things that kid may have uh, in the long run. So, uh, you know, we, I work out. Uh, I, it's not a, I, don't, I don't make it as a big project because nobody wants to do a two hour workout a day. This nobody has time. Uh, I, I like the consistency of doing that every day. So I do 30 minutes a day. I don't think it's a big deal. Uh, you know, it's not a lot, it's a little bit, but I think that if somebody has uh, a, a, a time or to make a little plan to do something every day, uh, because what works for me doesn't work for you. Maybe some people like to run. I don't like to run. I like to do elliptical I machine. I, look to, I, I like to do bike. But I do 20 minutes of some kind of cardio and then some stretching and light weights and I'm out of there because I don't want to stay there too long. And uh, it, it's, it's more like it's, um, it becomes a part of your life. Uh, you know, it's not like an accessory. You gotta, you gotta put it a part of your life. Well, and that makes the big difference too if you are fitting it into your life as part of your routine, but it's not like a hassle or no it's, it's it shouldn't a be job. a hassle because then you don't want to do it and then you need to change it, on, uh, uh, change it on occasion because if you get bored with this then you need to do something else well Nadia we certainly appreciate your time this morning I know you're a very busy lady congrats on the success of this event it's grown every year that you guys have put it on well thank you for your support anyway because congrats you've been with us <laughs> from the beginning and uh, hopefully you'll be a part of everything we want to do from now on let me mention one other thing. We produced a commercial with you here recently. We certainly ah, yes. appreciate your help with that. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, it, it ended up very well. I like it. Nadi Komenich, ladies and gentlemen, one of the nicest people you'll ever meet or get to work with. Thanks so much for your time. Thanks. Thanks. All right, that's going to wrap up our live coverage here uh, from the Cox Convention Center at the 2013 Bart Nadia Sports and Health Festival. The interviews that we did today, I think we did 10 of them maybe, will also be able to be found on newsok.com and it's dylan ladies and gentlemen say my little son dylan say hi dylan hi and he's out of here and he's gone <laughs> <laughs> and so are we that'll wrap it up here from the cox convention center thanks so much for watching guys thanks,